Starship S-24 has now been destacked from Booster 7 on the orbital launch mount to prepare the booster for the upcoming megastatic fire test. Everything is looking good at the Starbase launch site. The chopstick arms are now doing their job perfectly. It boggles my mind to think that one day, these arms will catch both stages of the Starship rocket. Time after time, SpaceX had proved its doubters wrong, and will do it again with Starship. People have always been skeptical about these chopstick arms since the start, but I am pretty confident they will work. Starship team is no joke. They know what they are doing. Lately, SpaceX's chief and Twitter boss, Elon Musk, is talking a lot about Starship. This is a good indication that SpaceX is on track to launch its first Starship soon. Booster 7's static fire will be a super exciting event to watch. You should never miss it. So, don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get the latest updates. SpaceX is targeting tomorrow at 4.22 a.m. Eastern Time for the launch of another Starlink mission from SLC-40 at Cape. This will be SpaceX's sixth mission of the year and the second Starlink mission of 2023. The first stage booster supporting this mission, Booster B-1067, will be on its ninth flight. As usual, the mission will be streamed live here on this channel. Don't forget to tune in and enjoy the show. NASA's latest commercial crew mission, SpaceX Crew-6 mission to the ISS is targeting no earlier than February 26 from Kennedy Space Center's Launch Complex 39A in Florida. The four crew members of NASA's SpaceX Crew-6 mission are Mission Specialist Andrew Fedeev, Pilot Warren Woody Hoberg, Commander Stephen Bowen, and Mission Specialist Sultan al -Nayadi. United Launch Alliance's Vulcan rocket now stands vertical inside the Vehicle Integration Facility at Cape. Once the second stage is mated with the first stage, the Vulcan rocket will be rolled out to SLC-41 for a wet dress rehearsal and static fire test. A launch date will be set soon after these essential tests are complete. It will be interesting to watch how this rocket will perform because the first stage is powered by two BE-4 engines made by Jeff Bezos's Blue Origin. ULA is known for its reliability and impressive mission success rate. Good luck to them with this mission. Well, that is it for this short update. Thank you for watching.